149. We'll see Michigan again. Eric Grahalis, the freshman, going up against the number one seed, Frank Molinaro, two-time All-American for Penn State. Very important match. And this is how they got here. Molinaro shutting his opponents out. And Grahalis a little closer, but nevertheless coming through as the number six seed, and he's in the finals. Let's meet him. Frank, great victory. Now, you've got someone in the finals you've wrestled before, you've beaten before. So, um, what are your thoughts going into the finals and then beyond? Uh, basically, just stay consistent and do what I'm doing. Stick to the fundamentals and the game plan the coaches laid out for us. And I think I'm going to be successful and, you know, happy with myself. Eric, great job. You're on a roll. You beat the number two and three seeds already going into the finals. Um, you're wrestling Molinaro. You've lost him before. What are you going to do differently to win this match to become a Big Ten champ? Uh, I just got to wrestle smart. You know, he's a very strong athlete, and he's a, he's a great wrestler. So I got to go out there, and I got to wrestle my match and uh, not let him wrestle his match, just like any other day. 149 pounds. There's Eric Grahalis, the redshirt freshman from Brandon, Florida, Brandon High School, and Frank Molinaro, a two-time All-American for Penn State. And he's one of the leaders. Here's your team standings, Iowa, 130 points. Penn State, 121. So Penn State with, uh, this is their second of five. Minnesota in there, got a tight grip on third place. But the uh, championship still up for grabs. Certainly is. Nine points is not that much, when considering you get a uh, uh, win in the championship is four points. So you've got an opportunity. Penn State's really got an opportunity to close the gap here. And really counting on uh, Frank Molinaro here. Here's the uh, a guy that could maybe even get a bonus point in this match. Comes in here as a heavy favorite. Grahalis uh, done a wonderful job to get to this point, the number six seed. And, uh, you know, you just... He's out there. Keep him out there. He did, he's, Keep uh, him out of there. He's a good, yeah. I mean, yeah. a great scrambler. You're not going to see him really hustle back to the center and, and, and show a lot of energy. And but uh, sometimes he looks tired just coming off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I think he kind of tries to lull you to sleep, whether he's doing that on purpose or not. But uh, he just, you're right. He doesn't give you that that hey, I'm ready to wrestle kind of bad. Doesn't give you a real strong sense that he's ready to bring it. But uh, you look at the scrambling he does, Lee, and it's a uh, it's solid goal. You know, he's really come on at the end of the year. He's lost to Molinaro pretty pretty convincingly twice. So, um, but now, you know, it looks like uh, Molinaro's thrown a couple good shots at him and hasn't even come close to scoring, really. Eric Grohalis we're talking about, the sixth seed, who's uh, defeated the number three and two seeds on his way to this championship bout. Molinaro, the number one seed, expected to be here. Molinaro from Barnett, New Jersey, Southern Regional High School. He's a two-time All-American. And he's had he's thrown shutouts yep, yep, to get yep, here. Yep. Yeah, he, wait, he's impressed me with how uh, he's been able to get his shots off. There's Troy Letters along with Cody Sanderson. Troy Letters, of course, a uh, big time All American wrestler for uh, Lehigh over uh, working with uh, Kale Sanderson and wanting to uh, grow in the ranks as young coaches. And he is a fine one at that. Nice high crotch attempt there by. Molinaro, good scramble. Molinaro looking to switch off to the double. If he can get that bottom arm underneath, he was good able hold, to He's able to scramble and get the two. It's good work. Rollins is kind of uh, sort, sort of funky there. I really didn't expect him to be such a, a funky kind of a wrestler. Well, when, he, when guys get in on his legs, he's been showing an ability, particularly at the edge of the mat, to be able to go One ahead minute. and come out on top, you know, similar to his, his uh, teammate. Who has the great gyro is, is Joe uh, McFarland. <laughs> yeah, you guys are on the same page <laughs> yeah, there. You, you called it, yeah, yeah. Joe. Molinero out in front, 2-0 over Grahalis. Molinero, the number one seed. He's really been a good leader for Penn State. He's he precedes the Kale Sanderson era, and he melded in very nicely with this team, giving Sanderson that upperclassman leadership. And here's a reshot. You see, guys trying to get the bottom arm underneath to get the double leg. Wasn't able to do it on the roll through attempt, but he's able to keep his belt buckle uh, to the mat, keep his head up, his hips down, and, and uh, again, the guy who has his head up won the scramble. 2-0. Frank Molinaro out in front. Already approaching one minute. He's close to 50 seconds now of riding time advantage. Breaking down Eric Grahalis. And Brandon Florida, Brandon High School, quite a program, um, high school program in the... Uh, the state of Florida. 
working hard in the top position. And a couple time All American, Molinaro. Yeah, he's tough. He's strong. He's got a strong upper body, strong core, strong legs. Uh, for Hollis is getting grinded up down there. It hurts. And up from Florida, there's Caesar and Leslie Grahalis, the parents of Eric Grahalis. 116 riding time. You look a little tense, as, <laughs> as I would as be if that was my son. It's understandable. <laughs> and proud at the same time, only a freshman, Eric Grahalis, in the championships against a man, Frank Molinero, who's beaten him twice this year, 6-2 to two and 8-3. to three. Right now, out in front, 2-0. Molinero trying to come out. He's got a minute five riding time left. Rahala shows some poise in certain situations. You know, he looks like that last situation there. He looked pretty comfortable. Yeah, he's, he's pretty skilled. I, I think that, you know, if you get beyond, it takes a long time for him to get back to the center of the mat. He gets, looks a little bit tired uh, out there. But beyond that, when you look, take a look at the scrambles he puts forth, I mean, he, he really does some good fighting out there at times. And see this situation here. I mean, there, there's nothing you can do but just hang on. So, yeah, it, it, warning. See, I, see, I don't agree with that call. What what else can you do there? Well, th that's just good. I think good uh, poise on uh, Molinaro's part when the guy get a guy trying to ride you below the waist like that and even below the knee. You know, what do you do? You just go out there and try to make him look bad. And that's what he did. Yeah. So you get the call that way. So really, get a new start. And you can see Grahal is coming up a little higher, but that's given yeah. Molinaro an opportunity to go ahead and... Great full of action yeah. there. Switch, re-switch, just a good scrambling. Grahal is impressing me here with his, uh, with his knowledge and ability to, to, to really wrestle hard against the guy he's, who's beaten him a couple times. Well, you can see when he has a lead, and he does those things, he, he can keep the lead. He stays in the top I love position. This. Look how he's walking back. I love this. He's just, well, just sauntering back, taking his time. Yeah, good look at Frank Malinero there. And Eric Grahalis comes on top. Ben Miller, the head official, blows the whistle. Now, Lee, were you the type of guy to like to run back the center of the mat? I wasn't, I was in between the two, <laughs> you know. I, I wasn't running back, but I was, uh, I wasn't taking that much time. All I know is that the guys weren't necessarily running back to the center to get some more of what you had to offer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Penn State's Frank Molinero out in front, 3-0 now with that escape. Grahal is getting rid of the riding time advantage. A minute left in the second period. Grahalis is crafty. You know, he's got some something running through his mind. I mean, he's planning on, on trying to win this. He looks crafty. Well, and when Molinaro's slowed down his attacks a little bit, and it really, if he would just march forward right here, keep marching forward, much like we saw in the, in the uh, long match at 133, he'd be able to get the stall call. And I think that'd be important here, because... Yeah. I mean, just Molinaro's got to hustle back to center. Cesar and Leslie Grahalis, they know they're in a hole, their son's in a hole right here, 3-0. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Molinero does push the pace. Uh, most of the time when he's wrestling, he's the, the, the stalker in most of his matches and the crafty one, Eric Grohalis. Well, he's wrestled Grohalis before, so he felt uh, uh, when Four, you take a decent three, shot on him here, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get it. He is holding a pretty good lead right now. Yeah, he is. If Grohalis doesn't uh, change the pace, and we, we talked riding. about the team scoring here. One. You get first place, you get 16. Uh, so you see the difference between time. 16 and 12 is four. Three. That's why the winner of this. They've already got their second place um, points. The winner will get an extra four points. And if they have a major decision, tech fall or pin, you get the bonus points of between one and two. So that's what's uh, uh, got Penn State looking pretty good right here. If they win this, they're within four or five points of the lead with three more finals. Well, we talked about that ace in the hole as far as championship wrestling. You're down by three. Riding time's not a factor. What's your, gonna, what's your big move that you're going to go ahead and try to catch a pretty decent wrestler, Molinaro? He's got one. Can he, can he press the action enough to have Molinaro make a mistake and, and put him on his back? 
you know, I was impressed with that last scramble. I mean, Molinaro shot a great shot. Uh, Grahalis really countered tough. And not only just countered, he countered offensively. He was trying to score off that counter. Frank Molinaro has been out in front the entire match. He's been in control. There's, there's his dad, Frank. Feeling pretty good about this, the chance for his son to get his first One Big minute. Ten championship. There's a decent high crotch shot. Again, sort of Lahalas. Listen to that grunt there. He's got the determination. Lift, I'm surprised they're letting this go because typically they'll stop it right away when you get up like that, you know? He had the big lift, but uh, Grahalis was able to go ahead and stay with it. Straight on go-to shot. He's picking up the pace, which is great. Yeah. Very you know, talented wrestler, Eric Grahalis. You know, he, he really is. He really is. He knows what he's looking for. Frank Malinera does a great job. Great scramble. 30 seconds. Yep. And Grahalis comes right back up, gets his head up in the scramble position. He's going to get off the mat. Good no call. Good no call. 23 seconds left in this third period. Molinero for Penn State out in front, 3-0. There's no riding time advantage, so Grahal is going to need more than a takedown to take this into overtime or win this match. Molinero, this is big for Penn State. It'll be two in a row, two for two, and then the next match will be a matchup head-to-head -head with Iowa at 157 between Taylor and St. John. You know, if Grahalis were to push the pace like this earlier on, you know, I think he'd be in a position to, to probably, you know, come closer or win, win the match. Not a point scored against Frank Molinero in this Big Ten championship. He throws three shutouts in his 3-0 performance. He's the champion, Frank Molinero from Penn State, their second Big Ten champion of the day the junior two-time all-american is hot as he heads into the ncaa championships in a couple of weeks a good look at frank molinero making his dad frank happy and he's he's gonna go to jim gibbons right now thanks tim i'm with frank molinaro and uh I'll tell you what your leader on this team you put your team in a, a chance to be able to try to win this championship how do you feel about your win uh wrestle tight did the things I'm supposed to do though. I hand fall well. Stay in position. Could score more points, but hey, it wins a win. I'll smile for a second, win a national championship. All right, well, Grahalis is he's, he's tough. He's got, got some uh, skills there at some of those scramble positions. Yeah, they got, you know, it's the third time I wrestled him. So it's getting a little closer, but I got to score more points. And it's a good, though. This will get me ready for next weekend. All right, well, look, look, look forward to having you uh, cheer the rest of your teammates on. Good Thank job, you. Frank. Thanks. Here's your champion, and this is how he got his first takedown, Frank Molinero, and he goes on to a 3-0 shutout over Eric Grahalis. And next will be 157, where Penn State and Iowa go head-to-head. -head. David Taylor, the undefeated freshman, up against another freshman, fantastic Iowa Hawkeye, Derek St. John. So we'll be back with Taylor and St. John after this.